Hi, Facebook. I am live. This is Positive Love Hills, and I hope my music in the background is not too loud. It's louder than my voice because, you know, I have the gift of gab, and I always want to come on and show you some love and give you some love. Um, as you already know, I have a habit of when I do come on, I come on at odd hours. I may have my rollers in my hair. Um, typically, it may be a late night in which I'm just sitting down. I'm just reflecting on life, reflecting on goodness, and just reflecting on experiences. And um, I come on live tonight just to share um, the importance of, again, of loving yourself. Loving yourself and forgiving yourself is so extremely important. And also just not being afraid to love yourself and also not being afraid to forgive yourself and forgive others. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's just so important for you to soak in that forgiveness and to be able to move on um, again with embracing who you are. Um, all of our experiences... Some of our experiences has been chosen and has not necessarily um, left us or made us feel most warming at all times. But the reality is, what did you learn from that experience? That experience should have given you a gift to grow um, into a better you, a greater you, and, uh, 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 and also seeing humanity in a different light. Um, being able to embrace the positive, being able to decipher who you can trust and who you can't trust a little bit more than you would have maybe five, ten years ago. You know, so um, as I was just reflecting on life, you know, I just can't just soak in um, what I don't have or I can't soak in what I um, um, the bad things that I've experienced or the negative things that has occurred to me throughout my life. I just can't stay in that spot. It is impossible for me to stay in that spot and I'm getting emotional because I know my experiences those things that I've had to go through those things that I've learned I have to share that with others as though I share with even as I share with my own seed, as I share with my friends and families, family members. I have to share with others to do my best, not necessarily robbing them of their experiences of the good and bad that's going to help them grow, um, but if anything, helping to um, um, give them some additional tools. Uh, to help to, them to see clearer and faster which way to go or maybe how to think critically think you know through that process on what they should do and what they should not do not necessarily for me to make that decision for them because each individual have to figure out themselves where what's your calling where are you called why were you born why are you here on the earth you know um and what difference are you supposed to make um, in your life and then also in other lives, uh, 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 other people's lives. So, oh, I've gotten out of an emotional stage. I'm so happy about that. Um, but it's been a while, and I'm telling you, um, through my experiences, life has been really good to me. It's been very challenging. Um, I have, I'm one of those, such as many of you that probably even listen, and that's on my page. I have a large heart. And with having a large heart, we tend to embrace more than what most people may embrace as far as personalities and experiences and etc. But in having that larger heart, I've also found it to be um, um, a blessing. Um, I had a good friend of mine some time ago. She says, man, she says, Jones, how are you so resilient? You know, you go through hard times with friendships, relationships. How are you so resilient? Um, how do you keep going? Um, how do you keep the faith? How do you keep the hope? And um, honestly, I just... I just know that this is you, you. I just know that there is sunshine on the other side of that. You know, on the other side of that mountain. Um, that's all I know. I just know that in everything in that I've experienced, the good and the bad, the good outweighs the bad. You know, that's all I know. I just know that um, that even when it seems like I'm at the end or there's no hope 
or um, I don't know which way to go. I just know that our Father in Heaven, as I say, um, always makes a way for me. And um, maybe, maybe it's also me just also uh, making a way for myself as well. You know, depending on what you believe and how you perceive it. But all in all, I just came on just to encourage you to tell you to, you know, love yourself. Um, love those who love you, as you see in some of my previous YouTube recordings. Love those who love you, like for real. Seriously, we are in a time now to where many people are going to be pretending, many people are going to be appearing to be who they're not. And you just have to find a way. I don't know if it's researching or reading. Um, you just have to find a way inside of you to only connect with those that truly have a heart like yours that's on the same page as you. Um, and and, um, and understand that people change over time. And if people change and their change no longer benefits you in a good way, not that you use them. Because I've had so many people, and now I won't say so many people, but I've had several people that have tried to climb off, you know, my back. And when I say that, they may even have more than me. Um, for whatever reason, they saw the gift and they saw um, the zeal in me. And they saw um, uh, uh, the greatness in me. And when I recognized that, I'm like, you know what? Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm not going to let you use me. Are you, you know, are you kidding me? Um, no, I'm not going to let you use me. You know, especially not for negativity. You can, you know, you can get the out of here, you know. But all in all, I just want to come on and tell you just to love yourself. Give yourself a big old hug because that's what I'm going to do. When I, as soon as I get off of this recording, I'm going to give myself one of the biggest hugs. I don't even think I've even ever given myself this this hug, a hug so big. But I'm not gonna wait on you know my mother, my father, you know, you know my child, you know my family, my friends, you know, or you know a mate. I'm not gonna make, wait just to feel that big love and that big embrace. I'm gonna wrap my arms around myself and I'm going to hug and love myself because first you have got to learn and understand how to love yourself before you can appreciate the love that someone else has for you and that, that can give you and that can embrace and impart into your life. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna get off of here um, because I've been talking longer than what I that I would talk, but love yourself, you know, and love others that love you, as I always say, and be good to yourself, treat yourself good, and treat others good, you know, believe in you, you know, um, the sky's the limit, they say, but I say, you know what, you are, you are more than just the sky, you are more than a limit, you have everything that you have inside of you, and as long as you believe in that, and you give that, um, you'll be just fine. You'll be just fine. You'll be all right. You'll make it. So keep hope alive. Positive Love Hills, Temple, Florida. This is Gail Jones coming to you. And I rarely say my actual name, but I'm saying it today because I'm at that point now to where it's time to level up. Love you. Have a great night. Positive Love Hills.